Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. So, we are doing the Nashville vlog, but we're not in Nashville yet. We are in the St. Paul, Minnesota area. So, I've never been to Lake St. Paul, so we're at this park called Mini Haha, -Ha. which is in Minneapolis. I know, but it's right by St. Paul. <laughs> so, we're gonna like kind of just do a little hike, a morning hike, because our plane doesn't leave till 3 and we're not going to the airport till 1 and it's 8. So we're just gonna do a little hike and then maybe check out a coffee shop, an ice cream shop, a little cafe. So I thought I would take you guys with me. But hi! Oh, this is Solomon, if you don't know. Hello. So that's the start of this vlog. Woo! A nice morning stroll. We're gonna try to find the little falls. And we're gonna go over a bridge. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put together a little montage for you guys. So we just finished at the park. You saw the little falls and everything. Now we're gonna go to a little cafe. A cafe, what is it called? Uh, <laughs> cafe Astoria, I think. Yeah, that's it, that's it. And then there's a little breakfast bar called Hope Breakfast next to it. So once we're there, I'll show you what we get. back to the place we're staying at. I thought I'd give you a little OOTD because I'm also going to wear this on the plane and when I did my packing vlog I kind of told you guys I would give you OOTDs every day in case you want to see my outfits. So I just have this cute set that I got from Target like a month or two ago. It's so comfy and I figured this is like the best thing to wear on a plane and we were walking around the park and we walked around St. Paul so I feel like it was a good choice. So yeah so what we're going to try now is after we had the coffee, which was delicious, across the way they had a little cafe called Hope Breakfast Bar, which the people were staying with recommended to us. So I have a little delivery bag here. And then me and Solomon decided to order bacon tacos and share it. And then we got, for me anyway, some Cholula. I love Cholula. And then we got some guac. So Solomon and I are gonna try that now, a little taste test. And then after that, we have like an hour before I have to go to the airport. So I'm just gonna charge my camera, charge my phone, lay down. Solomon's with me, show him a taco. He's a taco. And I've it's put bacon guac taco. and Cholula on mine. We're gonna make such a mess. <laughs> we got paper towels, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> that was really good. Whoops, I should probably show mm. more of you. They gave you a lot of guac. We still have more guac. I am saying I thought for a bacon taco it would be more bacony flavored. Sorry? Well, I feel like I've said my piece. No, we gotta like rate it. Should we rate it like how Scott Papa's like does? I'll rate it like a 7 we, out of 10. Will we get it again? Oh my camera. No, I wouldn't get it again just because they had a lot of stuff there and I'd want to try something else. But if you're ever in this area, St. Paul, Minneapolis, Hope try Cafe. Hope Cafe Bar and oh, yeah, Astoria Coffee. <laughs> Astoria Cafe. And I would get this like a 7 as well. Yeah, like oh, it's yeah. good, but like, I was expecting better. Next stop, the airport, <laughs> and then after that, Nashville. A oh, long time no vlog. As you can see, we are at the house we are staying at. We are in Tennessee, and the flight yesterday was all good. It was smooth and only like an hour and a half. It wasn't very long, and when we got here, it was like so super rainy but that was okay because literally all we did was go to dinner and then we just came to the house we're staying at and then last night I just unpacked and I took a shower and we talked to the people we're staying with and that's kind of it so today's our first day Solomon is going to the studio today around 1 30 I don't know if I already told you guys I know in my packing vlog I did but I don't know if I told you in this vlog he's here in Nashville 
for business. He's recording some songs with a record company. So that's exciting because he's a musician if you didn't know. And while he's doing that, his mom and I are gonna just kind of bop around Nashville. So I don't really know what we're doing today. I don't really know how much I'm gonna vlog in public either because I'm super shy. So it might be a lot of me explaining what happened and then popping up pictures, to be honest with you. I'm sorry if that makes you mad. <laughs> but that might just be what happens. And at the end of every day, I was gonna have Solomon kind of check in. I'll like when I ask him how the studio go, like. I'll kind of do that on camera so you guys can get like his side too. And he said he'll try to take pictures and videos while he's in the studio. So hopefully if he does that, I can pop some of those up into the vlog. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my contacts in and get ready. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys like every day my get ready process because that'd be pretty repetitive because I do like the same thing. But today I'll show you it. And today I'm just wearing this cute little top. It's striped with lace and then I'm just wearing jeans supposed to be 73 today so it's not like super warm so I pack shorts and like a dress and everything but um, probably wear those a different day it's gonna be like 78 tomorrow so a little hotter tomorrow but yeah so I'll just go set you guys up in the bathroom once I have my contacts in and then I can show you my makeup okay honestly the lighting in here once I stand this way not so good but the mirrors over there so I'm gonna have to do it but yeah, so I'm in the bathroom, I'm getting ready. I put my hair up, put my contacts in, I did my primer and my little moisturizer. And I'm not gonna like go through all my products with you guys because I have a lot of makeup videos on my channel already. So if you wanna know what makeup I love, go check those out. I'm just gonna do like a speed through me getting ready, so. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now all done. Went for a very, very natural look today. And I got a huge mess I need to pick up now. But yeah, this is the look today. Very natural. And I'm going to pick this mess up. And then I'm going to see what everyone else is doing. <laughs> hey guys, it's me. It is now 10 p.m. instead of, what was it when I left? Like 10 a.m.? So what happened is we had a whole day and I'm a terrible <laughs> vlogger. I did get clips of it, but I refuse to like talk in public because I'm with other people, so I don't wanna annoy them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about our day as I'm inserting clips, and you'll just see it. So babe, come see it. Solomon is here with me right now because he didn't have to go to the studio <sighs> until two. So we went to Hold this, <laughs> we went to this park, and it has a replica of the, uh, Parthenon. Parthenon in Greece. And then him and his mom did not know that a big Athena statue was up the stairs because I saw it online and they did it. So when we walked up the stairs, I was like, oh, there she is. And they were like, what the heck? So yeah, well, that was funny. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so she's just this big Athena. She's really cool. And then like the Parthenon itself was really cool. And then it was just like by water and trees. And that was really pretty. So then after that, we went and ate lunch at this burger place called Brothers Burgers oh, or whatever. Burger. It was very good. And I had, you know, like a caprese salad with the basil, <laughs> mozzarella, and the tomato. So basically that, but like on top of a patty with a bun. So that was good. 
And I don't know what you had. You had some other burger. Uh, I had a jumping jack. Yeah. It. it was good. And then you went to the studio after that. Yep. And then after that, uh, we went to. We like drove downtown, but we parked in like the stadium parking lot, which is free. And then we walked to Nashville, like the the downtown of it, on this walking bridge, which was really cool. And on the walking bridge, you could see like the city skyline and the water and the bridge. And so that was really pretty. And then once we got into the city, you just hear like music everywhere. Because Nashville's like the, music, the city. music city, which you really liked, but he was in the studio. And then after that, we went to the library, which was three stories, really pretty. And I got some shots of that. We went to like all the areas and there was like a civil rights area which is really cool and like a women's rights area and then they had like kids area which was really pretty and they had a courtyard with like a fountain which was really pretty and we were just reading all the st signs and stuff in there so that took like an hour and after that we went to this little coffee shop and i can insert the coffee i got and they had this cute little sign that said treat yourself you're doing great sweetie which i thought was cute and then we came back here Picked him up. We went to this healthy-ish restaurant. Yeah, it was good. And it was good. And I got, I got spaghetti squash, which was really good. I got a plant-fed burger. Yeah. Oh wait! When we picked you up, we got to tour yeah, the studio. I, you were. I got at. to walk them around the studio a little bit. So inside the studio, we saw the mix board, and then after that, you walk in and you see like the spot for the bass player and then you see the the big drum and then there's like the little room where like you'll sing in and it was just really cool and then after that we just met some of the guys that helped you mix right yeah <laughs> they were nice and then after that we went to the dinner and we told you about so Solomon yeah 10 out of 10 day 10 or 10. what 10 out of 10 you didn't get to sightsee. Hopefully you can do... Well, you did a little with the Parthon. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, when we're here Monday, you can see more. Yeah. So you... So, so you didn't... Okay, he has four songs, his EP deal. Today, you didn't, like, sing or anything. They, like, mixed... I, what did they do? Instrumentals. We, we okay. got the instrumentals done. Tomorrow, For, I, tomorrow and uh, Sunday, I do vocals. And are you going to tell them what songs they are or no? No. See, the good thing about <laughs> this, though, is he still owns the songs, so, like, he can release them on his Spotify, he can make music videos if he wants to, he can put them on his TikTok, and hopefully they can get it in, like, movies and stuff, and commercials, and yada yada. Right? Yeah. So, tomorrow, we're gonna go... What about... Some, they said something about, like, a songwriter brunch but i don't know uh yeah it's like independent songwriters come in and sing music while you eat that's cool so we might do that before he has to go to the studio and then he'll go to the studio and then after that i think his mom and i are gonna go to some gardens and i don't know after that but now it it is time to go night night because i'm tired well i have to take my makeup off and take my contacts out but then it's time to go night night say night night good night Good night. Okay guys, it's the next morning. But look at this precious little kitty. Hi Topanga. So that's one of the pets that the person we're staying with has. And now I'm just gonna do a very quick OOTD and show you my makeup because we are going to go to that um, songwriter's brunch thing. So I don't have time really, but I did this makeup today. It's a little more than yesterday. I did like a pink liquid lip, so if my mask on, it doesn't go anywhere. And then I did like a pink eyeshadow look. And then this outfit is just a little dress with a little cardigan. And we're going to, I don't remember what it's called exactly, but it's some kind of garden. We're gonna go there after we drop Solomon off at two again at the studio. But first we're gonna go to that singer-songwriter brunch. I will get clips of that and update you guys later. It's official. I'm the world's worst vlogger. Yep. <laughs> it's now like, did you just start? <laughs> well, I'll keep it in. No, no. Yes. Oh. Well, it is now 10 o'clock. Just took my makeup off. Just put my contacts out. 
and we had a whole day hey. hey my nose looks a little red and a little burnt but i don't know how i put sunscreen on but yeah so today we went to that singer songwriter brunch i told you guys mm -hmm. about before we left and it, it was, was very good it was like two was hours good. of like these two people singing mm -hmm. a guy and a girl at the whisk no not the whisper room the listening room <laughs> in nashville Ooh, i burped in nashville and i had chicken tenders i can see a picture chicken of that waffles. i did not get a picture of yours but i got a picture of mine yum yum and then after that he had to go to the studio mm -hmm. how was that it was very good. We uh, finished the vocals for two songs. It was basically singing the same two songs for like two hours. I did not get any footage in there because this time in the studio he was working at today, I was not allowed in there. So no footage for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then after that, we went back into downtown to show Solomon it, me and his mom, because... Oh, wait! I didn't say what we did when you were in the studio. <laughs> Okay, I can insert a lot of pictures as I'm talking, but we went to, um, what's it called? Cheekwood, Cheekwood Gardens, and there's also like a mansion you can walk through, but they were out of tickets for that, and we didn't have time for it anyway. We went through the Children's Garden, the Herb Garden, the Seasons Garden, saw some of the Sculpture Garden, and we wanted to see the, the Japanese um one but we didn't have time and his mom and i found this like glass archway bridge thing in the middle of the sculpture one which i can sort of picture up that was pretty cool and then all around the park they just had these lego sculptures which were really cool i don't really know why but they're really cool and then we happened to just walk by the back of the mansion accidentally because we got a little lost but from there i took the prettiest picture and that was really pretty, and we just walked around the park for like, ah, there's a bug in here. <laughs> so mad! There's like a moth in here. We'll have to kill it's that later. Fine. But yeah, so <laughs> I hate bugs. So mm. yeah, they were really cool. And we walked around for like three hours, and it was hot, and I was sweaty. But other than that, it was good. But then, once we picked him up after that, we went in, back into downtown. And we walked the walking bridge again. And it was really pretty. And then we went to a Taco Bell, you guys, which doesn't with sound exciting. Live music. But yeah, in Nashville. Mm, really cool. They would Taco Bell with live music. It's two stories, and you can have alcohol in it. Yeah, they were serving like pina coladas and beers. It was so cool. You can get a spike like freeze. I didn't, but some <laughs> girl got like a spike Baja freeze, and that was so cool. Yeah, it was cool. So we went in there because I was like, this is awesome. I love Taco Bell, but like it's like a hip Taco Bell, so we're going in it. And, and then it, it weirdly tasted a bit. Better. It tasted better than yeah. no. I mean, I always think Taco Bell tastes good because I never get sick from it, so I always think it tastes good. But yeah, so that was good. And then after that, we got ice cream, mm -hmm. and that was like it. We just like walked around listening to music because no matter where you go, in Nashville, you hear live music you hear from somebody. bars. And then we saw a guy playing the drums. Just on the street. We saw some people wipe out on those scooters. Yeah, they have like, like, <laughs> ah! Where'd the bug go? The bird scooters. But yeah, they have like electric scooters people can pay to use. And we saw people wipe out on them. But they, it was their fault. They kept going down this like big bridge really fast. And then this one girl did it like five, six times before she finally wiped, wiped out. And we're like, saw that coming. Yeah. But yeah, so that was our day. Hopefully I can insert as much pictures as I can in there. Sorry I'm the world's worst vlogger. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying my best. So thank you for still watching if you're watching. Good night. See you in the morning. Next morning. With Solomon. Our room's a mess. It's his last day in the studio. Yeah. And I'm going to brunch with his family. A little worried. My hair's still freaking wet from the shower but I'm wearing little shorts, this little tank top and my cardigan again and my purse. My little necklace and then my sunnies. So that's the plan now. And then later, do you want to go to the Johnny Cash Museum? Maybe, yeah, that'd be fun. So we'll see. Last night we went into the city, as I told you. So I feel like if we get dropped off of that walking bridge, I could kind of. Because, like, the Johnny could, Cash Museum yeah, is right next that to That wasn't it. very far. We could figure it out. Yeah, we could kind of figure it out now. Woo! Yeah, so talk to you guys when I talk to you. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, we're in the same spot, <laughs> but it is many hours later. Many hours later. We had brunch at this place called Big Bag, 
big bad breakfast. It was very good. Pop a picture up here. It was really good. He tried grits for the first time. I, Not a fan. I've mm -hmm. always had them and I like them. And I had a biscuit and it was really good. So now we're gonna go downtown again. Maybe there's not a cash museum. Maybe just look around. I am so tired. <laughs> I feel like I took a nap because I just came back here after brunch and waited for you to be done. I don't know why I'm tired, but I'm tired. So hopefully I wake up. Hey, it's a trend of me being the worst vlogger. <laughs> well, we just got back Yeah. from downtown. Well, we didn't just get back. As you can see, I took her makeup off. It's like an we hour. We got chilled. I got a little tipsy. Just a little. <laughs> See, I can drink. Oh. Oh. I can drink my little girly drinks, my little Mike's Hard Lemonades, and all that, and I'm fine. But like one real drink before eating dinner. I always drink something before I eat. That's never smart. Never smart. And a mojito. I love those. It was thirteen dollars though, for one. I'm surprised I actually paid that. <laughs> I'm surprised I just wasn't like, never mind. But yeah, so we had that, and then we went to for dinner. Went to the Hard Rock Cafe. I've Which never. Which is where you got the most. Yeah, that's where I got the most. <laughs> because I and I've never been there before, so. It was very good. I have a picture of that I can insert. Honestly, the next stuff I'm gonna have to talk about. I'm just gonna have to insert all the pictures because when we went yeah. to the Johnny Cash Museum, you couldn't. You couldn't take. You couldn't film. take video. You could take pictures without flash. I don't get what. Why does it matter if it's? Is it just because flash bothers people? Flash bothers people and some like those old pictures you can ruin them over time. Oh, okay. So yeah, I just have to insert a bunch of photos. Honestly, I didn't really know anything about Johnny Cash other than like, he's a famous country singer. So it's cool to like learn more about him. Yeah, he had a cool life. And he 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 had a like two wives, a lot of kids. He was in the military. He like sang in jails a lot mm -hmm. for like and he fought for like prisoner rights and mm -hmm. what else did he do he ha he was an artist i remember that showing up and i was like what then he wrote books he did a lot he wrote actually three books. didn't he have like a hundred songs on the charts that's crazy yeah something like that he had a he had a lot of a lot of songs on the church one of the most prolific artists yeah they had like all of his grammys and they had his singles on the wall and i love seeing um I love seeing the stage outfits, remember? Yeah, I took they a lot were of really, pictures. really elaborate, a lot of them. He's also like more religious than I thought he was. He made a movie. Well, yeah, he was originally going to be a gospel singer, but they said they didn't like it enough. Yeah. So he had to audition with some new stuff. So he made like a religious movie that him and his wife funded, and then he was in like four other movies, and he, w he was in The Simpsons. Mm-hmm. He got like a picture, but funny enough, in The Simpsons, he was a coyote. <laughs> yeah. He like voiced a coyote when Homer was like, what was it like? What do they call it? Like his guide, yeah. his, spir his spirit guide, his spirit animal. Yeah. That was cool. His house, you guys. What was it? How many? It was like 14,000 14, square feet. So I took a picture of the picture that he was in with his house. And then like they had, they showed like the china he used and his china cabinet was like super elaborate and his chairs were like elaborate. But yeah. And then at the Rock the rock Cafe, we both had burgers. That was good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I said what we ate. And then we walked across the walking bridge again, which I really like. And then I, we just kind of walked down Broadway. I showed him Ryman Hall. You were getting kind of overwhelmed. Yeah, it's very it's very loud. I mean, that's to be expected, but it's just like <clears throat> you can't even focus on like a sound because there's so many. I kind of like that though. Well, you think I wouldn't because I'm a very anxious human. But yeah. did we do anything else? I'm like forgetting. I mean, I went to the studio and stuff, but how'd that go? It went well. I mean, it's kind of the same stuff, so that's kind of why I'm almost breezing over it. They've heard it by now. Although you kind of said it's gonna take vocals. a few months for him to finish them, right? Yeah, like. He said it'd take less time than he thought it would. But once the, it's all finished, guys, he can release some on Spotify. He can make music videos for it. They can get into TV shows and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow, if the weather's not crap, we might, might do a zip line, zip line course. Because the person we're staying with actually owns a zip line course, which is super cool. But if the weather's bad, we don't know what we're going to do. There's a park near her house we could go to that we haven't went to yet. And then if we're thinking of trying Mr. Beast. 
Uh, he, yeah, he's a beast burger place here that we have Ubered here. Oh, I got this. It's a Nashville sweatshirt. And I got a Nashville mug. And then we got a little beer cup for his brother as a little thank you gift because he's watching Indy. Mm -hmm. You guys probably know my cat, but if you don't, pop a picture of him right here. He's super cute. Morning. It was so awful this morning. It's very sunny now, but it was very rainy. And we walked to get McDonald's and got soaked. But that was breakfast. Now it's noon. We ordered Mr. Beast Burger and we're dog sitting the pupper. I showed you the kitty. Let me show you the pup. So this is Saki. She's a little Australian poodle mix toy. So she's gonna stay pretty small. She loves to bite, run, and chew. <laughs> but bite in a playful way, not a bad way. She's a cutie. Say hi, Saki. Hi. Say hello. <laughs> She's still She's saying hi. No bites. No bites. It came. It came. I'm gonna get a fork too, babe. Is there a fork in here? So we got our Beast Burgers by Mr. Beast. I think everybody knows that YouTuber. But yes, this is his burger joint company that you can only get online, right? Yep. Okay, so there's this. Then we got this one. So. I had to get the dream burger. He also kind of wanted the dream burger, but I said we have to get different things. I like avocado. I do too, babe. I like them more than you do. So yeah, that one has avocado on it, bacon, mayo, and then the beast burger, the original beast burger. Oh, holy, those are fries? The original oh beast burger God. just has like the normal burger stuff, but this is the burger fries. So we got the fry, which is like a crinkle cut fry, and then it has mayo, ketchup, mustard, and onions in it. It's like I like it, but like there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. The fry, the, the seasoning on them is a little spicy too. I do like it though. That's good. Is this like Mr. Beast's version of like animal style fries? I think it's probably. Yeah, especially because they're called Beast style. I've never had them. I've never been in and out. All right, I'm, I'm gonna take one with a pickle. I, I feel like that's the. I love the pickle. That's like part. the main like difference. It's not going on, but that's good. That's so thick. Oh Those my god. Those two burgers. Oh, that's why they're double patted. Oh, okay. This is the dream one. It has bacon, mayo, double pickles, double pickle, and avocado. Oh. And I got just the normal beast style. So I'm gonna take a bite of mine. I kind of wish I would've- Just saw the camera. Maybe should have asked for mine without pickles, because I'm not, I like pickles. I'm not a big fan of pickles on burgers, though. So. What? You got some sauce on you. Huh? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> They're so huge. I think the dream burger is new, the one I'm having, because when I saw other people review it, when it first came out, this was not on the menu. Oh, this was swapsies. And I didn't try this when it first came out because where we live, we don't, they don't have, have one. one, so. We straight up can't. No. Well, it's pretty solid. It's pretty good. Oh, but this one's better. That one's better. <laughs> Was there onions on that one? Because I don't really like onions, so maybe that's what's throwing this one off for me. I don't think there's onions on that one. Yeah, I don't really like that. The avocado one is really good. The avocado is bomb. I feel like this appeals to more people's tastes, though. Yeah. Like that's more a little bit more niche. And I realized, babe, we were in, in Nashville and we didn't eat like any southern food. We had like, we had, like all burgers. I, love I had burgers. grits and a biscuit with my breakfast yesterday. That well, was good. Oh, you had chicken and waffles one morning. Mm -hmm. I have chicken tenders. It's not like we ate like no southern food. Yeah. Hi, worst vlogger ever. Hi. So, uh, when we woke up this morning, it was super rainy, as I already told you guys, so that sucked. But we did try Mr. B's burger, which you saw. And then it stopped raining, so we were able to go zip lining, which was cool. Although there were a lot of bees <laughs> by the portion, like just she gets the scaled. just the building, like where you sign the waiver and you get like the zipline gear on. But yeah, so other than that, it was fine. I could insert a video of Solomon coming down from it. If you're ever in in Nashville, go to Adventure Works. Adventure.
Very and fun. yeah, after that we got dinner with a new friend, I guess. Yeah. That we met and her kid, and now it's bedtime. I packed up my and clothes. Tomorrow we go back. Yeah, that's why I packed up most of my clothes. And we have a flight at 11:45, so we have to get to the airport at like 10. So we're almost done in Nashville. I feel it's like sad. I know uh, you've I done enjoyed my trip. I know you've done more than me technically because you were working, but I've done a lot of tourist stuff. Yeah. I went into the city three times in five days. Ooh, ooh, I went to two different parks. Let's see. I went to like a lot of restaurants. I went to, I was going to say a bar, but the Hard Rock's not a bar. I just got a drink there. Yeah, Hard Rock was pretty good. And then we went at zip lining. Like, I feel like we actually did quite a bit. Quite a bit. It's Tuesday morning. We're packing up. All my bags are packed. And we're gonna go to the airport, and then we're gonna be home. Hey guys, we're another back. trend of us going to bed before we go to bed. So we are home now. We got to see our baby boy, Kitty. Come in here. He doesn't want to be on camera. He was just in here. Okay, well you go yeah. with the cat, and I'll show oh, them what yeah, I got. Yeah. So. But besides the sweatshirt that I showed you guys, I also got this mug. Isn't that cute? It's just checker printed. It says national. It comes with a spoon. He's in a basket. He loves laundry baskets. Because we have to do laundry. Because I had all this laundry from traveling. Oh my god, that's so cute. Say hi, Bubba. Hi. Meow. I think he missed us. He literally meows and follows us everywhere. We had his brother come and check on him, though. Yeah. I don't know why he's lonely. I mean, it's still less time of the day than normal. I guess. So that was the Nashville vlog. He went down there for work at a studio. So new songs of his coming soon. And he has a new song that came out Friday the 30th called Hide. I will insert that at the end of this video instead of always in my mind so you can hear that. I'll pop it up on the screen. Go check it out. He posts a lot of music related stuff on TikTok, so go check out our TikToks <laughs> and our Instagrams. Yeah. And if you like this video, please like it and leave us a little comment. And yeah. thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. There he is. And have an amazing <laughs> day. Bye. Bye. Bye.